What's up guys, welcome back. TJ here from SporterX. Today we're gonna to be talking about the best fishing sunglasses of the 2022-23 year. And what are the, some of the features that you might be looking for in a good pair of fishing sunglasses? Well, if you've seen our reviews from years past, you probably know you're looking for something with great grip, great venting, maybe an additional leash for added hold, rubber temples, rubber nose pads, glare reduction, of course, wanted contrast and a lightweight fit. And if you're an everyday hat wearer like myself, probably something that's not going to be uncomfortable pressing into the sides of your head when it comes to uh, the temple and how it fits beneath a brim or beneath a hat. Basically, you want a pair that you can put on and you can forget about so you can get back to focusing on your next big catch. Before we get started, don't forget about our See Better Guarantee. It is there so that you can rely on the fact that you're not stuck with anything that doesn't work for you that you purchased from SportRx. Simply give us a call and our opticians will make that right for you, whatever it may mean on our end. Okay, let's dive in and get these guys started. Okay, first up in this collection, we have the Costa Blackfin Pro. Now, if you're familiar with Costa's Pro series, it's basically a few of their more popular models geared towards fishing, but with some added features to up the level of performance and give you a competitive advantage. This includes venting, textured, highly adjustable rubberized nose pads, also rubberized bold temples that you can see right here that fit very well beneath the hat that I'm gonna demonstrate for you in a minute here. So the grip is unrivaled, sweat channels and eye drains to whisk away unwanted moisture, especially the ones that build up behind the lens. Metal keeper slots if you need some added grip. I'm, I don't know why you would need to, but say you're on the ocean, you hit a big wave, you've got some turbulence, they might fall off. And so in those type of scenarios, you definitely want to opt for the retainer that again clicks on to the metal keeper slots right on the back of the temple there. You also have a little bit of an extended brow shield to keep light from coming into the sides. And again, I mentioned those bold temple sides right there that prevent additional light coming in from the side of the frame. These are available in prescription with Costa's patented 580 lens technology in polycarbonate Trivex or glass. And this comes in at a SportRx frame width of 135, making it somewhere in there between a men's medium to large size. And again, I'm a six foot one individual, about 185 pounds and uh, my SFW is around 133 I would say so just to give you an idea I'm gonna try these on and one thing I did want to say if you want a, a really good um, customized grip to your face what I like to do is pinch the adjustable nose pad together like that the textured rubberized nose pad and then when you place it on push it down just slightly and you're really going to feel that textured grip wrap around the nose for I mean, look, that's not going anywhere. Again, fits very well beneath the hat, so this is definitely one of the favorites. I would say a top shelf option. So check it out, the Costa Blackfin Pro. Okay, next up for Oakley lovers out there, we got the Oakley Split Shot. This frame has made uh, this best of fishing list for a number of years, and there's a reason why it's been around so long, because it's just so awesome for so many reasons. It's made of Oakley's patented O-Matter, which is very durable and lightweight. It comes with prism plutonite lenses for ultimate contrast and color enhancement. It also includes a 20 inch woven steel leash. So if you need to take them off, you can put them back on, you hang it around your neck. You don't have to worry about losing it or dropping it. A curved brow line at the top prevents light from peeking in uh, from there. And also works very well with hats. As you can see, the temples are fairly thinned out. So a lot of amazing features coming with this frame. However, my personal favorite has to be the unobtainium saddle bridge, which is Oakley's patented rubberized technology that is hydrophilic, means it gets stickier and tackier when it's wet, so you can be sure it's not gonna fall off your face. The split shot comes in a Sporter X frame width of 131 millimeters, making it about a men's medium, and I'm gonna demonstrate what it looks like right here. And as I stated, I really love the feel of that saddle bridge. It doesn't create quite a, a seal right here, so you get a little bit of airflow, which also helps to whisk away and clear out moisture behind the lens. But if it's very well beneath the hat, as you can see. I'm getting no pressure points. It's not poking me anywhere. And if you need to drop it down like so, there you go. It's available in prescription with uh, Oakley's authentic prism lens technology, but also in a sport optimized lens provided by SportRx. So check out the Oakley Split Shot. 
Moving on, we got the Smith's Guides Choice. This is another frame that's been around for a very long time, especially amongst the fishing community. Very simple, straightforward, but a lot of really great features that you wanna to touch upon. It's got the brow shield to eliminate light coming in from the top, as with a lot of the models that we've discussed thus far and moving forward. It's got rubberized temples near the back, but not too much rubber where it might be pulling on your hair when you're taking it on and off. Very comfortable, a little more bulk in the nose pad in the front, I would say, but also hydrophilic material, meaning again, it gets tackier when it's wet, and spring hinges. Some people really prefer that. And you can get these in prescription with uh, SportRx Sport Off optimized lenses, we have a couple really great options designed specifically for fishing. Now the Smith's Guides Choice comes in two sizes, a regular and an XL version. The regular version, which is what I have here, comes in at a SportRx frame width of 135 millimeters, making it a men's medium to large respectively, and the XL comes in at 138, making it a solid men's large size. Oh, one more thing I did want to mention. It comes in Plano, meaning non-prescription, tech light glass, which a lot of fishermen prefer a glass lens. Of course, that's a little bit heavier, but also much more scratch resistant. So again, check this one out. Fits very well beneath the hat, as I've mentioned before. Great grip, a lot of durability. Put it on, you don't have to think twice about it. Check it out, Smith's Guy's Choice. Next up, we got the Maui Jim Southern Cross. Everybody's familiar with Maui Jim. I mean, they have some of the most amazing lens technology on the planet. And this one is another frame that's been in a few different lists designed uh, explicitly for fishing. What I really enjoy about this one is the triple injection molded nylon frame. It feels incredibly rigid and durable. And I say rigid, that could almost be taken in a bad way, but I definitely mean it more positively. I feel like this can really take a beating and keep on ongoing, it's gonna last you a really, really long time. Plus, what else is really great about this frame is the grip. You get heavily slotted nose pads on the front that again gets tackier when you start to heat up or sweat or comes into contact with water. You also have some rubber inlays on the inside back of the temple, not too much rubber, but just enough to ensure it's not gonna be moving around when you try it on. You can forget about it, concentrate on the fish ahead. These are available in RX with Maui Gym Authentic Lens Tech and either Polycarbonate Evolution or Brilliant Materials, but if you get it in Plano and you don't need prescription, it does come with glass lenses in that patented bi-gradient mirror as well, which is meant to mimic our eyes when we get too much sunlight coming in and we need to protect them. We, we kind of do that squinty thing. That's what Maui Jim's bi-gradient mirror is meant to mimic. This frame comes in at a SportRx frame width of 133 millimeters, making it a solid men's medium. And to show you and demonstrate kind of what it looks like, there you go. And I can really feel the effectiveness of the slotted rubber nose pads. This frame is not going anywhere. Yeah, really high in tech. So Maui Jim Southern Cross. Next up, we have the Wiley X Boss. What I really like about this frame and that sets it apart from some of the other models that we talked about thus far is its lack of grip, which you may think is a bad thing, but some people prefer no rubber on their frames. Just maybe for some added comfort, makes it a little bit easier to take on and put off. You have to constantly focus about getting the right feel and placement on your face, but it does come with an optional T-peg strap that gives it more of a goggle-like fit because of the fact that it attaches at the mid temple right there. It also comes with a removable foam gasket that you can see right here. So if you happen to be out in the open ocean, you're getting a lot of breeze, salt water coming off the surface, then you can attach that and give it more of a goggle-like seal and feel against the face. And that's keeping out all unwanted dust, wind, debris, anything that's going to get within your line of sight, which is definitely a problem when you're trying to fish. And this comes in at a SportRx frame width of 140, making it a men's large to extra large. It's available in prescription with either SportRx Sport Optimized lenses or patented Wiley X Captivate lens technology. Wiley X Boss, give it a try. Moving on, we're talking about the Zeal Incline next. This is an unreal lightweight feel to this lens because of its plant-based resin Z-Lite thin injection molded frame material. It's also got plant-based Illum lenses, a keyhole bridge for added ventilation and fantastic grip thanks to ProFlex rubber inlays at the nose as well as the back of the temple. Very flexible. One of these frames you can put on your face and you don't have to worry about it. You're probably gonna forget you even have it on. And to demonstrate, this comes in at a SportX frame width of 145, making it a men's large to extra large. Also something to consider is the pantoscopic tilt. Sometimes people like a little bit of angle to the front of their frames, like so. So if that's something that you're akin to, 
give the zeal incline a try, but definitely for those bigger face or larger headed individuals. Zeal incline. Last but not least, we have the native Sightcaster, which you got to look forward to with this frame as far as features go. It is made of plant, uh, bio-based plant resin. It's got cushion all grip at the nose as well as the back temples. So a little bit of grip, but not too much. Simple and durable cam hinges and is available in Plano that is non-prescription in both blue or green reflex polarized lenses. But if you need prescription, you can choose from one of our very own Sporter X Sport optimized lenses or customize your own. This is a great budget option as it's priced a little bit less than some of the other options you see here on the table. And to, I'm gonna demonstrate this for you right now. This comes in at a Sporter X frame width of 139 millimeters, making it a solid men's large. Again, thin temples with, but that are fairly broad and have a little bit of depth to prevent light coming in from the insides. Fits well beneath the hat, kind of grips the back uh, or near back behind the ear right there, but it's not moving anywhere. Again, a great budget option if you're looking to save a little bit of money, but you don't want to sacrifice performance native Sidecaster. That about wraps it up for the top fishing sunglasses of the 2023 season. Hopefully one of these models piqued your interest, but if you have any more questions about the lens technology, the frame fit, anything, leave a comment below. We'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Hi, I just wanted to thank you again for watching this video, but if you'd like to see more, click on one of these videos over here and don't forget to check us out on social media. You can find us by our handle, Sporter X. See you next time. So this frame comes into a Sporter X frame width of 131 millimeter. Oh my gosh. Millimeter. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try this again.